Here is your Bull and Bear Stock of the Week. An apparel company and a financial company. This week's Bull and Bear of the Week, Shiraz Meehan back with us to highlight each of these stocks. The apparel company is Polo Ralph Lauren Corporation, or maybe you say Loren. That's right. uh, RL, the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, this uh, always, this company seems to be doing consistently well. They are. Uh, they, uh, earlier on, uh, and by that I mean uh, eight to ten years back, uh, had, had not been managing their brand uh, well enough, particularly in the international markets. They had licensed out uh, their, uh, their, their franchise to, uh, to a bunch of folks in Europe and in Asia. Uh, and domestically, they were not really taking care of the brand good enough and positioning it good enough. And, and that was kind of affecting uh, their uh, the consistency of their results. But over the last, I want to say, a couple of years at least, and, and the outlook for the coming few years, uh, they are extremely well positioned. Uh, mm -hmm. They have, uh, they have uh, uh, targeted... Uh, each individual market for each individual uh, um, 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 uh, segment of the of the customer base for for the high end, uh, they have uh, the collection and the purple label and the blue label. Um, and, and do I read correctly that uh, they're they're poised for yet another expansion now into Asia? They are. They they are. They're about two thirds North America now, with one third from uh, from the, from the rest of the world, primarily Europe. But they have made some heavy investments over the last three, four years. Uh, and the goal is to make it a one-third, one-third, one-third uh, in all of these three regions. And uh, they, they, they appear to be on track to, uh, to, to get that. So growth uh, is, is a key uh, attribute in the, uh, in, the, uh, in, in the Ralph Lauren story. Uh, uh, my assessment is that even on very conservative projections, uh, the, the, the sales, which are currently around six and a half to seven billion dollars, should double uh, over the next uh, over the next five years. So, twelve plus billion dollars in top line gains. Mm -hmm. The investments they have made in the uh, in the uh, in the distribution channels uh, and on the retail side, it should start paying out. And uh, they should have uh, very strong margins, uh, and that will drop down to the bottom line. So, 20 plus percentage uh, earnings growth uh, over the next four or five years is not an aggressive number for, for, for this consumer centric company. And you don't find that many companies in the consumer space right. with that type of outlook. And that's primarily the reason why we have them as the buy. Very interesting. That financial company that I alluded to is Morgan Stanley, MS, the ticker symbol. Uh, no uh, secret here that the financials have come under a lot of pressure lately. They have. Uh, they, they, uh, Morgan Stanley, in particular, the financial services uh, in general, should probably get a decent lift from the uh, European deal announced uh, last night. Uh, but that was not the reason why we had them uh, as the bear of the day in the first place. Uh, uh, Morgan Stanley has uh, a storied uh, investment banking franchise uh, that goes back uh, decades. And uh, what they did was, over the last few years, uh, they lost track of that and made a number of uh, uh, quite bad strategic and tactical decisions. They jumped into the, uh, into the bubble, really, uh, during the downturn, right at the wrong time, by bulking up on those exposures. And uh, uh, they made some uh, some very painful stumbles uh, during that time. The uh, uh, not to plug uh, somebody's book, but uh, uh, Michael Lewis, the uh, Big Short, he goes into some depth uh, in explaining uh, how embarrassing. Uh, some of the trading losses at uh, at Morgan Stanley were mm -hmm. uh, so they so they increased their exposures uh, to uh, to areas of the market that was not their core competence, particularly on the proprietary trading front, which which made them lose sight of their of their bread and butter business, which was their mainstay all along, which is client centric advisory services. They're getting out of that. They have articulated a vision for going back to their roots. Uh, but this is a tough time to really reposition the brand and the firm again to those roots uh, with, the, with the global economy uh, slowing uh, and uh, an overall tough regulatory environment both here as well as in Europe. Mm. Even 
we don't go into a recession even when the European issues are resolved. It's not an easy environment for investment bankers to make money in as we are used to uh, them making. Uh, so an overall tough environment for, for Morgan Stanley. They had good quality numbers uh, in, the, uh, in the third quarter. They released those last week, uh, mostly on the back of uh, accounting adjustments and things like that. The core investment banking, trading, money management business was fairly weak. Uh, so that, that trend should continue in the, in the foreseeable uh, future. All right. And uh, yesterday that Shiraz was referring to was October the 26th. Don't forget our bull and bear of the day stocks on Zax.com. Now, if you're not viewing this video from our website, Zax.com, get on over there and right on the homepage, it, we put one new bull, one new bear stock of the day for you each business day. With Shiraz Mian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.